Hello everyone, this is Daryl20, and welcome to episode 6 of Daryl20's Let's Play of all the Mod 7 Skyblock, where I'm today just checking out everything. I've got a lot of... I'm doing good on resources. I'm feeling really good about how everything's set up. Currently, my biggest bottleneck is the Pulverizer, um, and I'm going to go ahead and jump into Mechanism today. Uh, so if we look at the quest book, we'll notice, first off, I've got a bunch of quests to hand in. Why don't I go ahead and do that? I can turn in this diamond upgrade and make it a gold upgrade, and hey, why not throw another gold upgrade in there? Sure, that sounds cool. Uh, I want to get into Mechanism. Uh, it looks like we even have a few Mechanism quests installed here. Hey, that's cool. Quest completed. I like that. Uh, anything else? Mm, I think we're cool. I guess that's it. Is that it? I guess that's it. Okay. So, uh, but I want to progress down mechanism, so I want to get a metallurgic infuser going, if we can. If, uh, if y'alls don't mind. So let's make that real quick. Uh, I just need a couple, uh, furnaces and stuffs. So let's pop into the basement. Get a couple stacks of you. Uh, and I should really do my best. Let's get some of you, some of you. I know I'm probably going to need some copper and some tin at some point. Maybe some redstone, maybe some lapis, maybe some diamond. I don't know, we'll get a little bit of everything. Is that cool? Uh, so metallurgic infuser. Uh, that's the first thing we want to make. So we're going to need a couple furnaces. And then we can do metallurgic infuser osmium. How could I have forgotten that I would need osmium? Is this osmium? Yes. I mean, obviously we need osmium. Obviously, we need osmium. Hey, quest complete. Nice. Um, so I'm thinking I should move my bed. We can probably put him, you know, somewhere a little bit nicer. Respawn point set. Good plan. Um, and I might want to move this elevator. Might not be a bad idea. How about we just move it a few blocks this way? So that would be this block. Just because it's been a little bit tight where it is anyway. Cool. And that looks cool. Awesome sauce. So now I've got a little bit more room within which to work. Uh, let's set up our metallurgic infuser. Our first one we'll set up here and we'll go with like the standard suite that I do of uh, of mechanism machines and then we'll kind of go from yeah i think that should be cool how are we for energy pipes i feel like we could use more energy pipes so how about two more of the didn't i do this two more of these and then energy pipes sweet because we know we're going to eventually have more of these more of this stuff here um that should be fine yeah for now for now, that's a good start. All right, cool. So metallurgic infuser, first step complete. Enrichment chamber is the next thing. We're going to need some basic control circuits, which is a metallurgic infuser. Uh, let's go ahead and make... Should I make the other metallurgic infusers I'm going to need? Sure. Why not? Because uh, we know we're going to want, in total, three more of these, right? So let's go ahead and get more metallurgic infusers. Do you not stack? I guess you don't stack. Hey. Incorrect assessment. Yeah, might as well get all four. Like, we're in pretty good shape with resources, so, you know, let's do the thing. Now, the enrichment chamber is going to need two basic control circuits, which luckily I already have. Uh, and it's also going to need the steel casing, which is going to need some steel ingots. I think it would be just as easy to get... Um, a little bit of this and you should be cool so I think four of these would be a good approach and then I'm gonna speedy it up so remember it goes enriched iron and then we process it again to get steel dust and that can be smelted in my fancy smelter over here which have I mentioned lately that I love except when you middle click it sorts your entire inventory Bad UI. Bad. Don't do that. Cool. Uh, did I mention between episodes I did this? Between episodes I did this. I set that up. Um, the only reason I did that is I would like to have some passive mob farm stuff. And I'm hoping passive mobs spawn. 
I guess we'll see. I lit it up over there, and, you know, maybe I'll be far enough away that we'll get a cow or a sheep now and again. Uh, I would like to have that start happening, if I may. Uh, so now with four steel ingots. Uh, and remember, we could make steel the other way, but I think this was a cheaper, maybe, approach to steel. Um, cool. And now we have an enrichment chamber. Beautiful. Uh, and then we can enrich uh, some redstone if we so desire. Luckily, tick accelerating is not a big deal. Okay. And let's get some carbon enriched as well. How are you doing, time in a bottle? Hey, we've got some decent time on there. Maybe I'll just go with four diamonds. Okay. So we'll do uh, carbon, redstone, diamond. So we're ready to go with our metallurgic infusers. Beautiful. All right, cool. Uh, Quest-wise, is that everybody's happy time? Everybody's very happy time. Uh, five infused alloy, which I'm pretty sure is, uh, is it iron or redstone or osmium in there? I think it's osmium, right? Oh, nope, it's iron. Well, that's all right. We could use some control circuits anyway. There you go. Nice. Now, the quest has me making, I think, a windmill is the goal. You want me to make two energy tablets. I'm going to hold off on that. I'm not going to make the windmill. Uh, mostly because I don't feel like we need a windmill right now. But I'll make the two energy tablets just to complete the quest. Okay. Um, and then I should be able to use that to make uh, one of these guys, provided I make some more uh, other stuff. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put you guys... Uh... No, let's do this. That seems pretty cool. Is that inventory sorting now? Everybody's happy? I don't think I need this node on me at the moment. Why don't I clean up this a little bit? And the watering can I probably don't need. And uh, the dirt I probably don't need. Cool. All right. Let's get a battery. Uh, so that would be... Let me get eight more of these. Goodness. Time in a bottle is going to make this a lot better. Because early stage mechanism, it's it gets really fast, obviously, but the first couple steps are a little bit slow. Um, so time in a bottle is going to make it so much nicer. Sweet. Okay. Now I can get my basic energy cube. Sweet. And I got the best building tool. See, I knew I liked this mod pack. Sorry, building wands. Yup, building gadget. It definitely is the best. I like how they gave me a diamond building wand to go along with the building gadget. In fairness, though, the builder's wand does do things that building gadgets can't. That whole, like, well, I mean, building gadgets can, but it's a little bit, uh, it's definitely a little different. It can do, it, it can do some cool stuff, so... I like building wands. I think that's a good mod. For sure. Alright, cool. So that's your basic energy cube and your enrichment chamber. Check and check. Now, uh, you wanted 16 energy pipes? Uh, I could probably just make those real quick. Because I'm I, I probably do need a little bit more of this. Shrink that back, do that, and then Boom. Task complete. Nice. Oh, you need me to have uh, the wrench, dude. I've got one of them. Is something breaking shading? Something is. I wonder what's doing that. I wonder if it's... Is it the is it the functional storage? I'm wondering which mod is doing that. But you guys are seeing that, right? Cobblestone looks weird. Uh, if we looked at it here, that cobblestone looks weird. And so do the bricks. Like, there's something breaking GL. 
Oh, maybe it was one of those guys. See the difference? See? See? Uh, what was I looking at there? It might be Chemlib. Is it Chemlib? It might be Chemlib. It might be Chemlib. See the shading? It looks weird. And then I've played enough Minecraft that when I see that, I immediately recognize what it is. <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay, cool. So, hey, that's awesome. Uh, so that means you're done and done. Beautiful. I wouldn't mind uh, a way to store my experience. Um... Is there a crystal from Thermal? Insightful crystal? Uh, needs a bottle of enchanting, which can be experience droplet. Ooh, look at all this shenanigans. Um, that's right, the apotheosis. I, I gotta get into that, that's a fun one. What else do we have that we could maybe at this point quickly do? Nothing too great. Man, there's a lot of experience-y stuffs. That's right. That's the one annoyance about the Insightful Crystal, is I can never find a good and cheap and easy way to get a bottle of enchanting. But I'd really like to be able to store all this experience, because knowing that we've got Apotheosis in the pack, I'd very much like to, you know, be prepared for that stuff. Um, any other sneaky kind of way? Cough core. Mob grinding utils. I think there's a... Isn't there a drain? XP drain singularity tank? I could do that. Just needs a couple eyes of ender. I've got blaze rods. I've got... I could probably do that to store my experience. I think I could do that. I think I could do that. Might not be a terrible plan. And then we could make a bottle of enchanting with uh, a bottler from Productive Bees. That looks very easy. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Or a fluid encapsulator from Thermal. 250 millibuckets makes a bottle of enchanting. You know, it's doable. Why don't I do that? Um, just because I really want to do that. And then having this XP Drain Singularity Tank might not be a bad idea anyway. And remember, we can definitely use the faucet, I think it's called. Nope. Uh, tap? There it is. XP Tap. Uh, that will allow us to turn the fluid XP back into orbs. I'm hoping that it's a, you know, retains the stuff thing, but... Let's do that. Uh, so I need... Let's see. A couple Ender Pearls and a couple Blaze Rod Powders. Um, so let's do this, and this, and this, and that, and this, that. I might have some excess iron bars laying around from the last time I played with iron bars. Yep. Sweet. Okay. And then finally the singularity tank, which should be enough to get all of that. And that is cool. Okay. So now, in theory, um, I'm probably going to want this to be up a little bit. I'm just going to put it here temporarily-ish. Sweet. 280. That works for me. Because I really want to store this experience before I die. It's like, you know, a little bit of a fear. Uh, so can I encapsulator you? Fluid encapsulator just needs uh, a few things. Which shouldn't be too hard to get. I don't want to go that gear. That gear is not the good gear to use. That's the good gear. Okay, so that should be easy. Peasy. There we go. 
So fluid encapsulator, if I set you to input from the left automatically, you should suck up that experience, right? Hey, that works. I did not know that would work, but that works. That works. That kind of super duper works. And then if I wanted you, I just need two emeralds and two lapis. Sweet. Store all that experience. Ah, let me tell you how much better I feel once, because I've been getting all this experience from quest rewards and I'm like, I'm going to die and lose all of that. And then I'm going to be very upset. Uh, so sticking with mechanism needs an enrichment chamber, which we happen to have. Sweet. Okay. And then you guys can go in here. Is that where I have this stuff? Uh, you're actually already rawed, so we'll do that. And that's cool. Okay. And then we've got, uh, let's see, automating ore with mechanism. I'll just pretend that I did that. Oh, I got iron ore as a reward. I'm going to hold on to that. Is there a way to craft this in the pack? The ore, the, the miners, those guys. Okay. That's cool. The ore kid. You know what? That's rare enough that I'm going to hang on to that just in case. There's something clever I can do with it in the future. I don't need the iron, obviously, so I might as well. Cool. So now we've completed the Getting Started with Mechanism quest. Cool. Uh, Golden Furnace is a quest. I think you want me to make... that away hey lead dust remember i said that lead dust got disappeared where do you think it's been hiding all this time i have no idea it's been hiding somewhere though it's definitely been hiding somewhere oh i get a block of gold don't mind if i do see and look at all the experience we're getting now that i get to store in my thing cool uh, wireless power, smoking, fuel efficiency, blasting. I'll hold off on that stuff. All right. So I think what we can do now is we can jump into the mechanism chapter. But there's also some quests here for going to the nether. Uh, now, apparently the nether, obviously it's a void world, but nether fortresses will still spawn as normal. Do I have access to... Well, there's two things I'd really love to have access to now. I'd love to get into applied energistics if I can. And I'd also like some kind of flight if I can. Right? I think those would be two good things to get going with. Might be cool. Oh my, look at all these quests we completed. See, we really jumped into mechanism real good, didn't we? Okay, so you go in here. Sweet. What else did we do already? Uh, we kind of already did this, but it didn't recognize it, but that's okay. You it recognized me of completing. So cool. All right. Yeah, I don't think we did any of this yet. I think that's what it probably... Yeah, it has me do an electrolytic separator into purification chamber, crusher. Okay, so this has me setting up for um, lots of ore processing. Tier 3 factory, tier 4 factory... Yeah, that's how you get, you know, the top tier. Okay, that's cool. I don't know that we need too much of this, but I wouldn't mind... I'm thinking I might want to replace this guy with an enrichment chamber. Because I'm pretty sure an enrichment chamber will do the same thing. Right? Because if we look at this guy, and we combine him into raw ore, and we put him into a... Or is it the FTB? No, not that one. So enrichment chamber, three becomes four. So it's a 33% boost. Yeah. 
But I think when we do that, it has to be three that goes in. And if we put less than three, that might be a problem. But we could purification it. See, pulverizer has a chance for an additional 25%, and then sometimes an extra nickel dust. It's just different types of bonuses. Yeah, let me think about it. Let me get my basic energy cube up and running, though. That would probably be cool. So you come up here. Maybe I put it in the floor. Right? Uh, and then we'll side config that it's input on the bottom, output on the top. And then I just have to click you. There you go. And then everybody's groovy. Oh, that's right. I lost my sidedness to this. Uh, let's say output to the top, auto, auto. Left is input, right is input, none, none, none. Why doesn't you want to do that? Your auto inputs are weird. I'm just saying. Okay, now you're cool. All of a sudden you're behaving. I'll take it. And you pushed? You should be auto-outputting to the top, sir. Oh yes, you are. Okay, good. And then the laser I.O. is stealing it. That makes sense. Cool. Still no mobs, huh? Uh, how about cow? Cow spawn egg, nothing to do. There's the cow data model, but if I remember from Hostile Neural Networks, don't we have to, like, kill a cow at least once in order to get these things? Hold shift for more info. Yeah. Uh, soul jar, cow seeds for mystical agriculture. I really wanted, like, a cow, right? Um, is there, what were they called, boars? No, I don't see anything like that. Um, bait? Wasn't there a a mod that added bait for stuff. Also no luck. Hmm. We might have to figure out how to get m passive mobs to spawn. Not sure. We'll figure it out though. Now one of the benefits of... Sweet. I did make the achievement. Uh, of getting into mechanism was that I can do this. So normally this would take 20 minutes, but with mechanism it takes like seconds. And it's tech acceleratable. Hooray! Quest complete, Planet Logistics 2. Aha! Uh, nice, nice, nice. 82,000's head. Okay. Interesting. Maybe one of the developers? I don't know actually who's working on A2 these days. Uh, but hey, that's cool. Uh, so crystal seeds there and uh, quartz wrench you would like me to have I mean I'll make one real quick it makes you happy sweet just to get the experience if not anything else Cool. I think we could probably get into a blind logistics right now. Like, don't we have most of what we need? Yeah. Like, we're going to need a charger and an inscriber. Uh, we'll probably need the presses. So where do we get presses from? Uh, energy acceptor. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can craft the presses using some skystone dust. Okay. Uh, so that's one way to do it. Hey, there we go. Iron plate, Surtis Quartz Dust. So in the Inscriber, we can make the presses using Skystone Dust, which we currently have plenty of. That works for me.
Yeah, I say we jump into Applied Energistics. Get that going sooner than later. Because the sooner we have that up and running, the, it'll be so much easier for us to do crafting and progression and stuff, right? I think so. Uh, let's see, how about... I could probably use with a tier upgrade. Yeah, we definitely have the stuff for that. Sweet. And then how about you? Eh, we'll hold off. This will make it so we can triple this. Auto split on. Definitely faster. Uh, and then how about speed and energy upgrades? I just need some infused alloys, which are... I always mix these two up, but I think that's iron. Yep. Why don't I get a, a tier upgrade for that guy as well? I'll install these on the, the end too, because those are what we're using the most of right now. And auto split that dude. And that's cool. How about you get me a little bit more redstone? Sweet. All right. Uh, for energy upgrade, we need gold dust. And for this, we need osmium dust. Shouldn't be too big of a deal. Pretty sure this was osmium. Let's do this. Uh, what's the best way to get? We need a crusher if we're going mechanism, but I think we could just pulverize it. Should be fine. Or do we want to make the crusher for mechanism? Maybe we'll make the crusher for mechanism just to have another option here. Two lava buckets, we can do that. Steel casing, sure. Four steel. We low on sand. That should be importing. Beautiful. Are you choking on power? You shouldn't be choking on power. You're ejecting out the top. Output blue, top. So you should be good. Are you having power problems down here, buddy? Nope, you're cool. Is it that we're drawing too much power? Can you not output fast enough? No, you should be able to do a thousand R of a tick. 250 R of a tick without the upgrade. That's probably what it is. Before we had multiple, now we need to have one. Um, so that's an easy fix. I could probably even do you. Do I have gold on me? I do. Easy fix. Boom. Now he can handle 8192 RF a tick. More than this can output. Perfect. And then you can get these guys to enrich. All right, now we were working on a crusher, which needed some glass. And then you wanted another bucket so I could get some lava. I should throw a tank down here for lava because uh, I don't think I have one currently. Yeah, you're probably pretty focused on making these. Close. Ah, too close. I can't believe I actually nailed it the first time. Nice. Talk about good timing, right? A little proud of that. A little bit. Beautiful. All right. And then maybe a quick tier upgrade for you. Mm 
There you go. And then we can get some speed and some energy upgrades, which are both some pretty cool quests to have. Nice. All right, great. Let's test that real quick just to make sure. But that should be really fast now. Yes, that's beautiful. And you're drawing how much architect? 600? Not terrible. All right, I like it. All right, so what I think I'm going to do is wrap up the episode here. I'll probably do a little bit more upgrading of my mechanism machines between episodes, and then I'm going to prep between episodes to get ready uh, to get into um, Applied Energistics. So we're going to need the Charger, and we're going to need the Inscriber. And as you remember, we need a bunch of inscribing setup. We'll probably set that up maybe in our basement. We'll see. Uh, and then we can get into AE2, uh, which is cool because I didn't get to get to that in my Let's Play series. So being able to do it here is awesome. For now, that's why I signed off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.